Hello my friends, it's Lancy and I'm here with a quick overview of our new launch pad from ClassLink. Now, you'll see this is what my launch pad looks like. They're not all the same. So, I just wanted to let you know that what this is, is it basically gives us all the resources that we need right at our fingertips. The other cool thing about Launchpad is that it's also available when you go home. Remember, not all of the applications are available outside of the district, but for those applications that are not, there is a sign on them that says only available in district. So let's talk about this. You'll see that I have a bunch of apps on here, and some of them have the little lock. What the lock means is that it was added by the school. It also has a key, meaning it's an SSO app. The SSO means single sign-on. For there, I don't have to worry about remembering my username and password because the launch pad just does it for me. So if I want to log into Parent Square, I can click right on it. You'll see it's loading the application. It saved my login for me. I don't have to do anything. I just wait a minute, and ClassLink makes all the magic happen. So that's a really great feature, and it's one of the reasons we decided to use it. Now, we've had a lot of questions about certain applications that people don't see anymore on their launch pad, and they're worried that they don't have access to it. That's not necessarily true. To add any application from our approved EdLaw2D list, you're going to click here to open library. Now, when I open the library, you'll see all of these different applications. These applications are on our approved list, so you can use them with students and have them log in and not worry about the ramifications of EdLaw2D. We have over 110 apps. I think right now it's 112. So anything you would like to use, you can add. Let's say I want to add Amplify. I just click that Add button, and there it is. It's been added. I'm good to go. To get back to my launch pad, I can click over here on the side or I can click on this X and go back. So now that I'm in my main launch pad, let's explore the toolbar. At the top, you'll see the name launch pad. You'll see these three, three dots, my analytics, you might see your classes there, again mine's different, and there's support documents. ClassLink comes with a ton of really great support documents, so if you need help and I'm not available, you can always check there first. Again, we said here, this is where you open your application library to add things. The next is edit mode. Now you may have noticed that I just have the plain, uh, plain Jane background for my launch pad, but let's say I want to spice things up a little bit. Click on edit mode, and you can see I can change the theme, I can change it to primary, This makes it look a little bigger, right? Makes it a little easier on the eyes for kiddos. I can change it to professional. It's sleek, it's nice, things are on the left. Let's see, I'm gonna go back to classic though. The other nice thing in classic is you can change the size of the applications. So if you have a lot of apps, you can make them smaller so they fit easier. I'm using my Chromebook right now, which has a much smaller screen than a desktop. You can see, even on my Chromebook, I can see all the apps that I have listed. Finally, you could make them large if you wanted. You could change the font style if you want the background to be highlighted. You can change your palette, which is the toolbar above where I'm working right now if I wanted to make it a darker color. There we go. And finally, everyone's favorite, you can pick custom wallpaper. So I'm going to go down, and I always like the space theme myself. So let's see if I can find a nice space theme. Oh, here's one. So when I click on that, now my background is a beautiful space theme. Remember, you can always add your own custom, or you could just do a different color. There's lots of options to choose from, though. So don't feel shy if you want to change it to something like a little different, or you want to have um, the sky or some trees or you just want to imagine yourself at the beach all day. When you're done you can hit X. The other customization is down here on the left. Sometimes ClassLink has little cute seasonal things. You can click that and you'll see the little seasonal guy comes up. It's very cute. To make him go away you just click it again. Now on the bottom of mine you'll see I have a class analytics. Give me one moment and I'm going to log in as someone else that's a teacher so I can show you how to use the class backpack. 
Now I've logged in as one of our junior high teachers, Mrs. Nye. Thanks for being my guinea pig. You can see that she's changed her background and she has a bunch of different apps than I do. Because she's a teacher, she'll have access to different apps than I do on her launch pad. On the bottom, you'll notice there's a backpack. In the backpack is my classes. When you click on my classes, it opens up a new tab and that shows any class that you're attached to in school tool. Let's say that Mrs. Nye wanted to add the Canva app to one of her social studies classes. So I'm going to pick this social studies class right here. You'll see it talks about announcements. You can make announcements in your classes, but I would suggest continuing to use Google Classroom the way we had done it before. On the left, you can click on apps. You can see that we at the tech department tried to add some things that would be appropriate for her class. She teaches social studies. Now, if she wants to add Canva, it's super easy. She's gonna click on the add new app. Up here, she's gonna type Canva, and then she'll hit add. Now, she can add it to all of her classes by clicking this little three dots here, or we'll just do this one class today. Now, in this class, you'll see Canva is there. So, on the other side, let's pick one of her students. To see who her students are, we just click on students, and this gives us all of their names, the students that are in her class. You can also click on logins, and this will show you who has logged in when. So it shows you how many kids are logging in through the launch pad into her class when she shares the links. This is super helpful. Now I'm logged in as one of Mrs. Nye's students. Let's see what it looks like from their end. At the bottom, you'll see the backpack. The student will click on the backpack to open their classes. What they're gonna do is, is now they scroll down and they can see all of their classes and they're gonna go into their social studies with Mrs. Nye. When I click there, you can see the student's gonna click on apps and Canva is right there for them. The students can easily access the apps that Mrs. Nye has shared with them through their backpack. A few more things worth mentioning. When you're logged into your Chrome browser with your at Homer Central account, or if you're a student at Homer Pride, you can always get back to your launch pad by clicking the home button up here on the left. Teachers, if you are on a desktop and you do not see that home button, that means that you need to make sure your sync is on. Call me and I will help you with that. So I'm gonna click on my home button. It's gonna take me right back to my launch pad. This gets me there quickly and easily and I don't have to bookmark anything. There are a couple other things if you are interested. You can add apps to your home page, not by clicking up here, but just by right clicking on anywhere on your launch pad page. You can see here I can add apps, I can add folders, and I can change backgrounds. I can also sort the apps by name or by type. That's up to you. You can add a folder and add things to the folder. If you click on an app, let's say I'm gonna click on Amplify, I don't really use it that often, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna hit Remove App. That does not actually delete the app, it just removes it from my launch pad. If there is something that you use all the time, for example, I'm constantly using the IIQ app because it's our help desk ticketing system. I can click on it there and add it to favorites. Then it automatically pops up at the bottom. If there's something you automatically want to launch every time you log in, let's say I want my email just to open every time I log in, I can set that to auto launch. What that means is that anytime I open a browser, my my bmail is going to open as well. You can also add it to a favorite. You can create tags. So if there are important things that you do for like math, science, social studies, primary teachers, you teach all the subjects. If you want to like tag things so they're easier to find, you can do that. Um, lots of great information on class link launch pad. Again, if you need any help with this, please let me know. You can always reach out to me in my office or call my cell phone or shoot me an email. Have a great day! Thank you.